It looks like a huge bird perched atop three utility poles. A 21-foot wingspan model of what may be the shape of airplanes to come. The model is the X-48B, designed by the Boeing Company in partnership with NASA and the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. It's one of two blended wing body aircraft scheduled to be tested in flight later this year at the NASA Dryden Flight Research Center. But first, the flying wing, built by Cranfield Aerospace, has to go through its paces in a massive wind tunnel at NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. The, the biggest difference between this aircraft and, and traditional tube and wing aircraft is that this does not have a tail. And the whole reason you have a tail is for stability and control, controlling the airplane. Um, so what we want to do with, with this particular test is look at how these different control surfaces can be used to control this particular vehicle when you don't have a tail. Engineers from Old Dominion University run the historic Langley full-scale tunnel. Built in 1930, it's tested all kinds of airplanes, from the vintage to the futuristic. The X-48B embraces both those concepts. The idea of a flying wing has been around for a long time, but improvements in technology, including advanced computer software and lightweight materials, may now make it more feasible. The main benefit is in fuel efficiency. I always like to see, say that the blended wing body is like the hybrid car of airplanes. It's, it's um, about 30% more fuel efficient than an than a, than a airplane of similar size that carries the same payload. The first potential use for this blended wing body design is a military transport or tanker that industry says could be in service within 10 to 15 years if testing and program funding go well.